uh, born in Havana, Cuba. Juan Luis Matos is a multidisciplinary artist and filmmaker based in Miami, Florida. He is a member of the incredible Third Horizon Film Collective that hosts an annual film festival in Miami. He's also the top prize recipient for the 2022 Knight Foundation Made in, in, Made in Miami Award at Miami Film Festival for his film, You Can Always Come Home, which premiered at our New Orleans Film Festival this past year. So with that said, I would love to welcome to the stage Juan Luis Matos to present brief, friendly reminders. Welcome, Juan. Hello, how you doing? Can everybody hear me okay? Yep, you're right. great. Um, yeah, how, how's everybody doing? If you could just throw like, a, you know, I'm doing good, I'm doing bad, I'm, everything is terrible, I'm devastated, or everything is great, just write that in the chat. So, you know, remember that we're all human here. Um, <laughs> all of the above. Uh, I, yeah, I just wanna first off give a, a huge shout out to Santa Shea and the whole New Orleans team. Um, I was able to present my film at last year's festival and it was the best experience I've had at a film festival. And I just met so many incredible people who, you know, I'm still in touch with today. Um, so yeah, just thank you so much. Um, I'm a multidisciplinary artist. Uh, I work in a, a lot of different mediums. Uh, and so thinking about, you know, kind of what to present today was, was kind of difficult. Um, I really wanted to encapsulate something that thinks of the, that something that encapsulates the work that I'm thinking about. Um, so I kind of just wanted to write a few brief bullet points of, you know, some of those things. Um, and some of these things that we already understand, some of the things that we already know, but just uh, thought it would be a good opportunity to, to take, to, to be in this room with all these incredible people and kind of just like have these reminders um, and kind of just for ourselves and for oneself and for the community as a whole. Uh, fundamentally, the South is a place of revolution, of change and community. And so thinking about the way we make movies here, uh, it's kind of in a parallel vein. Uh, so before I dive into it, I just wanted to take a second for me, <laughs> uh, but for all of us to kind of just take a deep breath uh, and open our mind, body and heart. So we'll just take an inhale and exhale. All right grounded. All right, so these um, brief friendly reminders are in no particular order of importance, just all things that I thought were important. So number one, a reminder that this system is not built for us to love each other. We have to make deep efforts to love ourselves and to love one another. Tell somebody that you really appreciate them and love them today when you get a chance. I love you all. See you. Number two, um, take time to really think about what you're feeling and what you need. Don't be afraid to take that time to write it down if that's helpful to you. Um, and don't be afraid to look for resources that help you communicate those thoughts and feelings to others if you need to. Friendly reminder number three, it's important to stay organized. So many of the things that we are frustrated about can be accomplished when we are in community, when we are in communication, and when we organize and advocate for each other and work towards common goals together by being organized. There's a lot of resources for that too. Uh, friendly reminder number four, invest in your community. Bring in other people who may not have the resources that you have, share your resources, ask to be invited into the spaces that have resources um, and know that you can build the platform for change, for conversation and for your community. Number five, feel empowered to challenge images. We are in a place where a lot of black and brown bodies are copy and pasted into cinemas and billboards and media everywhere. Uh, and sometimes they're decontextualized from our humanity. Just a reminder that black bodies are not black people. Black stories are black people. Number six, a reminder that filmmaking is a community oriented process. Communicate clearly your intentions with people that you're working with and your expectations. Don't be afraid to give credit where credit is due and do your best to take care of the people you're working with in the ways that they need. Number seven, as Solange once said, don't do anything without intention. There are so many images, so much content, so much of a lack of care when it comes to what we consume and how we consume it. 
Um, and as people who are a part of this production process in some way, shape or form, we have a really big responsibility to be deeply intentional about the work that we put out into the world. Number eight, challenge the way that cinema is made. We have to make time to not only think about what we are making and why, but how are we making it? The messes that we are taught in school and on set are can be pretty rigid, uh, can be pretty exclusionary. Um, and there are really small changes that we can make in our approach to collaborative filmmaking that can be really revolutionary. Number nine, think about radical nuance. Take time to be in between places, in between thoughts and meanings and challenge the binaries through the work that you make. And the last brief friendly reminder that I have is to have faith in your process and your journey because we are all on a journey. And that's, that's all I really got. I hope, uh, I know a lot of these things are things that we, that we're all collectively and individually thinking about, but just a reminder to, to be in conversation with others and, and feel empowered to collectivize. And, and there's so many great people in this room um, to be in conversation with and, and rooms that are ancillary to this and just, you know, reach out and let's make, continue to make powerful and empowering things. So thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you so much, Juan. This was super grounding. And um, yeah, even though some of these reminders may feel like the simplest thing in the world, we forget them very easily. And it takes an active effort to uh, believe in them and to you know reiterate them in our lives uh, from day to day. So I appreciate you for slowing the space down and um, yeah, reminding us to sort of be in our bodies. Thank you. Appreciate that.